Hey guys, welcome to Bombit TV. Guys, today we're going to be doing an amazing video. This is going to be by Ahmed Dinda. So today is going to be Chef Ahmed Dinda set a new record and leads Christian short Ramadan Islamic video. Guys, let's go straight into this. Now I have learned that the name of Muhammad was not not actually Muhammad, but his name was Abu Qasim. Could you please tell me what age was Muhammad? In which age was Muhammad when he became the title Muhammad? Because it is a very vital question. With what, which age? When Muhammad was born, you see, as an infant, a little baby, his grandfather Abdul Muttalib took him to the Kaaba. You know, that it was Abraham a place, and yeah. his son Ishmael had Abraham and Ishmael had built, and he presented this infant child to the leaders of the Quraysh. And they asked him, what have you named him? Mm -hmm. And he said, Muhammad. He says, it's a very novel name. It's something new. We never had such a name before. He says, I want my grandchild to be praised throughout the world. Because Muhammad literally means the praised one. So from birth, the first name that was given to him was Muhammad. Now this expression, Abu Qasim, comes later in history. The Arabs have a system. You see, that if you are the father of a child called Qasim, so you are Abu Qasim, the father of Qasim. Mm -hmm. You are Abu Ibrahim, the father of Abraham. Mm -hmm. But you have your own name. Mm -hmm. So this is a respectful way of calling people by Abu Bakr. It's not his name. You see, but he said, now you are the father of Bakr. Mm -hmm. So this is Abu Qasim means the father of Qasim. So I just want to read a bit more of Matthew, where Jesus speaks again about the three days. This is just, just from, uh, this is from a translation of the Bible called the NIV. It's Matthew chapter 16, verse 21. And it says, From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hand of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. And so uh, I think when you read all of it, he is saying that the three days I'm going to die there. I've got some other references up here as well as to that, but they're all fairly similar where they talk about Jesus dying. I just want to know what you say that, because there are many verses in the Bible, I don't know how much time I want to take up here, but where Jesus says, you know, I, I did die. No, my son, you have to agree with me that what Jesus was talking about, the sign of Jonah, that sign was a miracle. Sign means a miracle. You have to, it's not a road sign. Stop, yield, go. It's not a road sign. There were no road signs in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. So he's not talking about road signs. He's talking about a miracle. The Jews want a miracle from him. Not a road sign. So Jesus said, my miracle is that of Jonah. And then what the miraculous thing about Jonah is that we expect him to die three times over and he didn't die. You see, if I had a gun and I lose my temper and put six shots through you, to your heart, and it is shattered and you die, is that a miracle? Is that? But those six shots tearing your heart to pieces and you laugh, <laughs> it's a miracle? Yes, yes, that's a miracle, that's a miracle. Six bullets I put through your heart and you still laugh. <laughs> that's a miracle, I'll be terrified of you, do you know that? If that happened, I'll be terrified of you. <laughs> so, Jesus is talking that, look, the miracle mine is that of Jonah. What happened to him is going to happen to me. What happened to Jonah? We expect him to die. We expect him to die at every step. If he died, it's not a miracle. Jesus! If what they tell us about him, he also is supposed to die. He is expected to die. If he died, it's not a miracle. If he died, what they did to him, and if he died, it's not a miracle. If he didn't die, it's a miracle. So I'm asking, he said, I will be like Jonah. Jonah is alive, you agreed, and Jesus is dead. And that is in your language of the Englishman, it is unlike. In Zulu, I'm asking the Zulus, Goguba Chengo Jonah. He said, just like Jonah. So I'm asking the Zulu, is this Jengo Jonah or Ngai Jengo Jonah? Is this like Jonah or unlike Jonah? And they say, it's unlike Jonah. I'm asking the Africana, one, Suas Jonah. You know, like Jonah, Suas Jonah. I'm asking the Africana, is this Suas Jonah or Ni Suas Jonah? 
in arabic he says ya mu'allimu nuridu an nara minka ayatan fa ajaba wa qala lahum jihlun shirirun wa fasikun very strong in arabic this statement of jesus is very very strong compared to the english he says jihlun this is the bible is written by the christian by the way not me jihlun shirirun wa fasikun yatlubu ayatan wa la tuta lahu ayatan إلا آيات يونان النبي لأنه كما كان يونان في بطن الحوت ثلاثة أيام وثلاثة ليالين هكذا. The word I was looking for was هكذا just like that. So I'm asking the Arab Christian is this هكذا or لا هكذا. Jesus and Jonah is it هكذا just like that or لا هكذا. He says no it's لا هكذا. So come on you prove now that this statement is 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 a revelation from god the holy ghost inspired matthew to to write it down then it is proving that jesus is a, if i was a jew i'll never accept jesus as a muslim i believe in jesus as the messiah one of the mightiest messengers as a muslim but as a jew i said look this man was put to the test and he failed again and again he's failing according to the test that he himself lays on himself he is a failure he is an impostor and as an impostor we killed him i would have said that if i was a jew but as a muslim i say i believe that he was a true messenger of god and you have misunderstood everything you have misunderstood next question please thank you sir may i have more than one question if i go back yes yes thank you Mr. Didad, if you quote Acts 2.22, where Peter says that Jesus did by, the, by God's power the miracles, which is right, then why would you not accept what Peter says in, later in the book of Acts, particularly 4 verse 12, uh, about under no other name is anyone saved except by Jesus? Thank you. uh, you're not trying to prove by that that Jesus is God, I hope. Uh, no, I'm trying to prove that, uh, that if you take one source, then why not? No, no. I would be prepared to accept that. I said, look, he's talking to the Jews. Ye men of Israel, you Jews. Because Jesus came for the Jews. And in his time, Jesus' time, there was no other way. It was identical to in the time of Moses. In the time of Moses, we said Moses was the way to God. The children of Israel, they thought it through the golden calf. God didn't like it. He said, look, this is what I want. You have to go through Moses. Whatever Moses tells you about God, you have to accept. In the time of David, David was the way to God. In the time of Solomon, Solomon was the way to God. In the time of Jesus, Jesus was the way to God. In the time of Muhammad, he is the way to God and for mankind for eternity. So in every dispensation, the man of God is the firstborn of God. He is the representative of God and as such you must listen to him. That's what it means. So I accept that. That the people, the Jews, they had no other way because there was no Muhammad there. If they wanted to follow Jesus, they must listen to now Peter, he is represented. Peter says, look, this is what Jesus wanted you to believe, that he is your Messiah. Follow him, follow him. Salvation is yours. Thank you. Mr. Dinat, could you please explain how God could save the world as the New Testament claims if Jesus was not God coming in the flesh? Let me first correct my brother Shurosh about Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You see, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim means in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Allah, Allah, who is most gracious, most merciful, and He's those God's 99 attributes. That is Allah. He's not 99 gods. He's not three in one. Whereas the Christian formula is in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. Three. How does God save the world? That was the question. How does He save? There is only one way. And the way is, believe in God and do good deeds. This is what Jesus says. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, most assuredly I am telling you, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Unless you are better than the Jew, there is no heaven for you. That is the way of salvation.
guys, I feel I'm really that. Okay, I won't say so. When did I answer this question in? I'm sure in his own way and his own understanding. And I feel people can actually counter his explanation, but some of his explanation actually didn't make sense. Like, he answered it in in a way, and <sighs> from a Christian perspective, I would say, let's go back to when he said about Jesus dying in three days and waking up. The way he said that, because there's a day Zachary actually said something like this. When Zachary said, Did you not die in the fish so much? He said, No. Then he said, Why do you think Jesus died? That day actually kept me positive because I was like, If if Jesus was supposed to be that on Twitter and then not die in the fish so much, then how come I was positive a bit, but if you read that verse clearly, because if we are taking the verse as it's authentic, if you read it downward, Jesus said he's going to be in the heart of the earth. In three days, the way Jonah was in the belly of the fish, or the fish monster, or where he was. But Jesus says he's going to be in the heart of the earth in three days. So, Jesus clearly says he's going to die for three days. And, guys, please help me. Help me comment section. Because, I actually understand where he's coming from, but the truth is that we want to see light, like we want to see where the missing piece is out. For the fact that people have answers to questions is not mean it's the answer, like there's some people that have answers to questions. Like if you ask a full question and you give his own answer, does not mean that's the true answer. I don't feel I don't think everybody knows it right, like everybody knows it correctly. Like we are humans are prone to mistake. But I feel if we keep on going for that, we're gonna see do start to come up. The puzzle it's gonna click really soon. I'm having that feeling. Everything's gonna click really soon. But guys, please like just get my channel. I'll see you next time guys first.